everyone, Jelly here, and thanks for coming to watch another video. So we are officially on day two of the island challenge. Um, so at this point, it's still basically getting everything set up. So that way, when we can start going on Nook Mouse tours and start getting villagers, we are able to um, start this as well. Let's see. Only fitting that we could pop this ritual with the doozy and the only announcement. Start the airport's now open for business. Starting today, you can use only and local communication to fly to another island visit. Um, they also offer postal services and like resident services. The airport's open 24 7. And they do have another one to share. Is it this fair of the day? Blathers is running us on Starla. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to save Starla. I sincerely hope that. Everyone lends their cooperation, quiz in a residential stop by for details. That's all for me. Time for you to get started to enjoy your day. So let's see. Check our mail. So we have Nook Inc. Letting us know that we can buy Halloween decorations. Jack saying, Hey, I'm gonna come scare you. A gift from our mom. The sneakers we bought. And a housewarming gift from Happy Home Academy. Let's all see what we got today. Ooh, we got pears. We got our shoes. We got a DIY for a mini wooden table. And we got Jack's portrait. So let's go in our house and quickly fix our um this basically saying how to turn on the lights decorate open your storage etc and push over here i want you up here there go over here You come this way, and up. Well, let's put Jack's portrait here first. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we're going to first check our beach for a bottle. That um, every day you're on the island, you have a bottle that washes ashore. Here it is. Let's see what it says. Um, the latest strand's about to hit the wave. Something I call self care, and you can see what it is if you can't see yourself. So take a little you time and make this recipe. Okay, so it's our mirror recipe and for a wooden table mirror. Cool. Got a text message. Let's first talk to Blathers to see what we need to do. I just see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm? This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Jay. Are you happy with your home? Is it everything you meet your expectation? It's a lot more comfortable now. Houses are shut up from front tents. So you can freely change the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. Our homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HAA, as we call it, is how we evaluate your home on a regular basis and send helpful advice. And then they even send rewards to members who have achieved high rating. Their evaluations will intrude on your day to day life, so no need to worry, just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to your new home loan. There'll be 98,000 bells. Uh, don't worry, you can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature on the next stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today, but I do have a nice surprise for you. Do you hope you're ready for this? It's a premium miles redemption, a Nook Miles ticket. 
Basically, um, you go, you get those really cool tickets, and you redeem it at the airport, and unless you go to Mystery Islands, um, most of the time you'll get basic islands that won't do anything, but will have trees and rocks that you can get extra resources from. Um, but sometimes you'll get really rare islands. Nothing in here today. Let's get our daily bonus. Days in a row. Really want us to like, I don't remember. What should I do? So that's the question. That's a good timing. I've been actually meaning to talk to you about Timmy's shop, or rather, I've been meaning to point you in Timmy's direction. He'll have the details for you. Sure, Timmy. Hello there, Jay. Congratulations on your new home. I have something you would like to chat about, if you have a moment, that is. It's a bit of a proposal, so that was not a good time. I completely understand. No pressure. Sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing and need and our needs are going too. I'd love to have for a much wider variety of inventory and goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Ah, uh, but there's one thing. Building materials are hard to get, so we can so we can set them aside for building a shop. I really don't don't see it since we'll need those materials for residential products. I have an idea. Yes, yes. We can gather materials from the island, right? From the trees and rocks. Our environment our environmental review even suggests that there will be zero impact to native flora or fauna. How about I'm getting off track? We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will of course offer compensation for your efforts. Okay. Thank you so much. I don't know. I th I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of items I'd like you to gather. I need 30 wood, 30 of each kind of wood, and 30 iron nuggets. I'm not concerned about where these materials come from. They could come from the sand or any other. And you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Okay, not too hard at all. So we will, for sure, now need to go and build that axe. And then we'll also want to talk to Blathers, because I think we'll get the shovel, which will make getting the rocks easier for the ones we have. Let's see. I don't have branches. I don't. Oh, I'm sorry.
So since we got our axe, let's go ahead and talk to Blathers now. Um, the rough part about this is we'll have to give him a bug one at a time. And just because I don't want to bore you, we are just going to um, skip anything he wants to tell us about. Five down, ten to go. So let's go ahead first and put some of these items away. Just because, like, we don't need this many in our inventory, especially since we are going to be desperately, desperately needing all the inventory space we need. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and start shaking some trees. We want to shake our trees first thing every day because we'll get money, but it's also to make sure we remove any threat of, of wasps that might be in the trees as well. So how I'm standing, where I'm standing on more of the front side or at an angle, is where you want to stand when you shake these trees. If a wasp nest falls down, your character will automatically turn to look at it. But if you are positioned in a way that then when the wasp nest falls, that there's nothing in the way, you can actually catch them that way and create a new item to donate to Blathers. Like this. When the wasp nest falls and you see it, just keep pushing it until you swing your net. I never recommend shaking trees for the first time in a day without first having your net out or even chopping trees. That's just asking for it. Okay. So now that this first chunk of trees is out of the way and taken care of, let's go ahead and start swinging that. Well, we have just a couple more to give a quick shake to. Okay. So every day with the tree when you swing an axe at it, you can get up to, th to three pieces of wood and the wood is random from regular wood to hard wood to soft wood. Um, one thing that I like to do of course after shaking trees is I like to make sure I'm using the flimsy axe or the stone axe only when I need to get wood since the regular axe will actually go and completely chop down the tree, which is not something you want. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward through this. I don't have much else to talk about right now. My throat hurts.
Okay, so now we have the fossil done and we're still short 15 nuggets. Let's go ahead and redeem our Nook Miles so we can invest in some Nook Miles tickets. And then from there, we'll go to some Mr. Island Horse and hope that their rocks um, will have plenty of iron nuggets that we can get. And if we're really unlucky, we'll end up on Money Rock Island, which will only have money. DIY tools. Rough hewn. Wow. Got a lot already. Well, this is actually really good. Um, right now we can buy two DIY tickets. And if we can just get 200 more. Yes! Okay, now we have three di three Nook Mouse tickets we can buy. Which is really, really great. And then we still have the free one waiting for us at the airport. This means that we'll have plenty of time to get rocks. Let's go make... Well, do we have room? Yes. Let's make our purchase. Okay, now that we have our Nook Mouse tickets, let's actually go ahead and make our way to the airport. So that way we can um, go get ourselves some cool items. Okay. Hi, Orville. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Orville. Go to Airlines. Um, if you want to visit an island, go to Mr. Tour. That's supposed to be. If you have mail, you can mail here. Um, if you want to send notes, use the card stand. By the way, I'm Jelly Ray. A small island where it gets around. I have enough miles to go with your name on it. So if you want to use the ticket, just say I want to fly. So yes, I do want to fly. Yeah, I do want to use that Nook Miles ticket. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a ticket and we'll get you in the sky that ready. I have all my tools ready I need. Let's go ahead and get airborne. Another one, this is Wilbur, you ready to go, Roger? Okay, have a good flight, and when you're done, think what would Rodos do? I always think it's funny that, like, the dodos fly on this. Okay, find your papers protocol. Break a tool, forget one. He can do one, but it costs enough miles. I think you leave behind stays here. No longer get it back. So make sure that you're careful about what you leave behind if you have to leave something behind. Now go enjoy yourself. So it looks like we actually managed to get onto Lake Island our first time. Oh my gosh. Is that Clay? Ah, Clay is so cute. I had him when I played New Leaf for a while. He was uh, he's honest, was honestly one of my favorite villagers. But I don't think I can get him because of his personality type. Let's see. Do a quick Google search. Okay, so he's a lazy villager, so I actually can go and get him. The only sad thing is, is that I'll end up getting his starting home instead of like his actual home let's go introduce ourselves we're also now 11 short which is actually really good hi oh nice to meet you i'm clay cool so you're jay you're from starla right man that's real cool let's have some fun when we're here to get a trump this island is so much nature every place nature looks it's real neat i could see it forever pointing out stuff like that's nature yeah, it'd be real neat to live on an island like this full time, I mean. Just loving life, pointing at nature. Wanna come to mine? Huh? You live on Starla, right? 
it's like there too? Whoa, then I wanna go. If your island's school will see you, then I wanna go, Jay. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do to move to Sarla? So if I call Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything? Thanks. I'll call him and say hi. Today's the best day since I found out what Paschetti was. <laughs> I'm so happy I gotta keep you. Okay, we don't wanna walk there, so we wanna do it here. And here instead, then. Oops. Let's see. So we got these guys. And now we have need eight more. Do we have another rock on this island? Can't get to that one. Here we go. Here's one I can get to though. Okay. It's one, two. Okay, so we ended up running out, unfortunately, of rocks that we can access on this island at this time, because I don't have a ladder. So we actually will need to do the next best thing, which is leave the island, and then redeem a second Nook Mouse. Like if we're lucky, we'll get enough rocks again. Um, we now only need five nuggets. So if we can get two rocks and one of them produces three and the other one produces two, we will have enough. Ooh, I don't want to talk to her. If she shows up on my island, then I'll like live with it. But I don't want to willingly try to add her to my island. That makes sense at all. I think if I sound right here, I should be fine. Swap. Get bees every day, so we'll just release this guy. Or wasps every day. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, we only got three, so so long as that rock right there gets us two, we are good. You're not gonna talk to her though. Oof, if we use this rock then we don't have to even interact with her. Yeah, that's better. No. And this island is a spiral island, because it has that spiral shape on it. So it's cool that that one of our first islands was not um, one of the more popular ones. I do think the other one- oh, so many good nuggets. The other island that we went to wasn't just fish island. Um, I think it's also called um, fidget spinner island, because it kind of looks like a fidget spinner. So we'll actually want to save these iron nuggets. Just because they are a hard resource to get at the beginning of the game. And we have one Nook Miles to get left over. Perfect. So now, we can go back home, help the shop, and, ca and call it quits for now. <laughs> because it's been over an hour. Um, but as you can see, getting started takes a bit of time. Um, if you count the opening video for the arrival to um, the first day, um, which I would say is like the intro before it marches with time, like the first thing you do once you're able to save and that you can do in a day, it does take a lot of time that was about an hour and a half worth of time and then for this video it's just a little over an hour as well 
but I'm really glad that we're making some pretty good progress. Um, so long as there's nothing else to do today, otherwise I'm probably just gonna use the time on this island to collect the Spring Blossom DIY recipes. I ended up missing them, or a lot of them, back at the beginning of my game, just because there was, um, um, <laughs> right, just because it, the game was still new and I didn't really know what I was doing and I didn't know, like, how to, like, really spend time looking for things like that. Okay. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna give them all to you right now. Here you go, dude. Oh my goodness! This means we have everything to get ready to start a shop as a thank you? Please take a tweed vest, a yucca, and a bidet! Oh gosh. One more thing, since we have all the materials since our construction, like you, a key figure in making this happen to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Oh, thanks! So I think this will be the last things we would need to do today. And I'm not gonna focus too hard about placing it in where I want it to go, especially since things can be changed later in the game. I think I do want to keep the shop right next to the town square. Okay, so I'm take a step this way, a step up. So I should take another step this way. And that should be good. Yeah. Is this the spot? Perfect. Now that we have our shop, let's go ahead and talk to Tom Nook just to make sure there's nothing else we still need to do today. Since we did already help Blathers and we built the shop. Anything else today besides paying off my home loan? That's a question. I think you've got this material for the shop cover so far. Maybe I should ask you for advice how to build this island. Okay. Looks like we've done everything we need to for today in order to maximize the amount of progress you make in one day. Let's go talk to our son Tommy and then we'll go ahead and end this video. Jay! Congratulations on your new home! A new a home is sure to open up many new possibilities for you. Once our shop is built, I think we'll carry even more stylish furnishings that will look great in your home. Stop by to do some shopping once we're open. Okay. And for now, that will be the end of our video. Um, it's almost an hour and ten minutes long, so, and I still gotta get ready for work. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, Please like and comment on the video, and if you're feeling generous, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. I am planning to post videos every Monday right now, for sure, and then I'm going to also try to get at least two more videos in every week. But please be patient with me, because I am in school full-time, and I am working full-time for the most part as well. Alright, thanks for so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!